Right. <laughs> Tell me about the form you're filling out. Okay, so first we have to fill out the site number. In this case, it's Katakunamager CT0195. The collection date, which happens to be 5-15-10. The collection time, I just, I just checked, 757. Site description is Umbagog. Monitor's initials, MM. Uh, we will be collecting a duplicate set today. Current weather, um, I'm putting down partly cloudy, partly cloudy. Yep. Um, have we had a quarter of inch of rain since Thursday morning? No. No. Water temperature, we're going to get in a few minutes. Yeah, we're doing conductivity and temperature simultaneously with the special instrument. takes a few seconds to even out. And one of the things is that you really need to be in the water. <laughs> in the water safely. The temperature is 16.5 degrees centigrade. And I'll write that down. And 194. And 194 for the conductivity. Okay, so he has two different bottles of water with two different techniques for filling them up. First one is for the uh, E. coli testing. We just seal that bottle up. All the testing is done back at the lab. So we're all done with preparation on this sample. Mm -hmm. That is true. The same number that, uh, that Meredith gave you for the site is also on a label on the bottle. All right, hold that up for a minute. I think that's okay. good. Once you've got that bottle full, what you're going to do is to take your stopper, you hold it about a quarter of an inch above, seated in place, and just drop it in. That will displace the extra water that's in there, just dump off the excess, and that bottle's ready to go for some additional testing. We'll add some reagents here on site before we head back to the lab. Oh, I get to add dissolved uh, reagents for dissolved oxygen. Um, not entirely sure what other spiel there is. There's a packet for number one. There's a packet for number two. Those go in right as soon as you take the sample out of the water and get sh shaken up. Mm -hmm. Take it back to the lab and uh, add the third reagent, and then it's ready for further testing. So I'm going to add one and two right here by the screen. Each reagent comes with its own little labeled packet, one and two. All right, let me zoom in a little. Okay, go ahead. bubbles in the bottle, you have to dump the sample and take it again. And I've got air bubbles. Okay. Sorry. Let's try the second one. All right, the, after you add the reagents, the bottle contents get really cloudy and flocculent. There's a bunch of stuff floating around. And it has to sit and settle out for a few minutes before you can add the third reagent. Okay. So, into the cooler. 